Dave, Sensei. I'm here. Maui. We're here in Maui. Kanaha. Kanaha. We've Ready chased, for the downwinder. We've chased <laughs> freighters. Right. We went freighter falling. That was fun. But I gotta tell you, we're here with Alan Cadiz here on Maui. If you've ever been to Maui and you've been to Kanaha Park where we are right now, you've probably seen Alan around. He's helped people learn how to windsurf, how to be on the water, sup foil, wing foil most recently. And most importantly, he is going to be with us for today's adventure. As we go down the coastline of Maui, and I gotta tell you, I started dreaming about this the <laughs> first time I got up behind the boat on a wake foil. Because you see these it's guys. It's all training for this It's day. all training for this moment, this day, <laughs> to get out there and have a great time. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it very well. I'm hoping I, it's enough. <laughs> I, 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 I hope my dreaming of it and seeing it was enough. We hope there's enough wind and conditions. You know, this is the thing where you see them, the, the wings flapping behind them and they're going downwind. For I endless. Mean, yeah, for endless time, cut back and forth. <laughs> I mean, we're no Kai Lenny. We're just a couple of guys that are out there trying to have fun and With big and, smiles and, and channel our, <laughs> our inner Kalama, our inner Kai Lenny, our, our inner, you name whoever. But it's going to be us and we're going to get out there and do it. We may flounder, but at least we, we are going to have a good time. Elm yeah, will be, gonna be there to, to show us I, at least the way. I'll be your backcountry guide. It's going <laughs> to be like backcountry skiing. All right. That's a good analogy. I like that. Backcountry skiing here on Maui, down the coastline. I can't wait. Arr, I'm stoked. Yeah. All right, we'll be, we'll, we'll be back with a little conclusion footage and we'll wrap it up and tell you how it went. And uh, as always, we'll tell you exactly how it went. The highs, the lows. <laughs> all the highs. We're, we're and gonna everything all the else. Lows. No lows. Yeah, there's not gonna be any lows. No lows. I don't think there's gonna be any Maybe lows. Maybe the trough, there'll be a little low. Yeah, there. a little, little trough as we're coming down. Well, it'll be an adventure for sure. Yeah, the adventure is coming. We'll be back soon. Hello, Timmy. Dave, I, I don't know about this, man. I mean, if we don't have enough wind, we're out there in the ocean. Our first downwinder ever. We're if gonna you, do it together. If, you, if you're not a little, oh, there's wind coming right now. If you're not a little bit nervous, it's so probably not worth doing. You don't want to be out in the middle of the ocean with no wind. Yeah, no. Sensei, here we are. Here we are. We're on the way. We're getting we're, our we're, driver. We're picking up, we're picking up a driver. Patty. This drop off, Patty, she's gonna take us up there. And uh, uh, yeah, a little nervous, a little nervous. Yeah. And we're going uh, into the big, the big ocean. Don't know size wing to go. Uh, we're going downwind, we, so we're getting a little bit bigger. We know we're going to see different conditions out there. Uh, we we're know we're going to get some. Way away from shore, so I mean, you kind of got to have it right. But we don't even we don't know yeah. how to do it. We don't know how this is going to go, but we think it's going to be fun. We're happy to be here with Alan. We are going to have a good time. Yeah. And, uh, in one way or another, we're going to get back to shore. <laughs> yes. might, not, not, might not be in the light, but uh, at some point we will get to shore. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We have Alan, we have David. Patty drove us down here. Thanks, Patty. This right here, the world famous launch spot. If you're going to Jaws and you're towing in, it happens from this ramp right here. So we're gonna get on these things. We're gonna paddle out there. And so Alan, you were just telling us, as we head out there, the landmass, we're, we're further down from, from Hukipa. We're gonna stay further out. Right, now once we clear the uh, entrance here, the landmass that's downwind juts out a little bit. So we want to head further out before we take the turn down the coast, just to make sure we clear that landmass. Okay. Now with the wing foils, it's pretty easy to go where you want, but when you're on a sup board or sup foil, you really need to get out further, particularly if the wind's a little bit north, because it's pushing you back into that landmass. Uh. And it can be intimidating when you see the white water crashing on the rocks. You know, <laughs> yeah. I've had a few scary moments out there where I was digging pretty hard. <laughs> you know, yeah, a lot of excitement to be had. They don't respect that, that wave of Ho'ukipa around the world for no reason. It pumps through there, so we will keep ourselves out of, out of harm's way as we go through there. Big buffer. All right, looks like the wind's gonna be a little bit up and down, and uh, so we're gonna do our best. We'll, we'll grab a, a kite size or a wing size that we think will get us through, and uh, maybe we'll be paddling a long ways down the shoreline, or maybe we'll be flying. I hope Either we'll be way, flying. It's gonna be an adventure. So with a long downwinder like this, Alan was gonna check our gear and make sure everything was together. Absolutely a recommendation. Then it's off to paddle out the mouth. I gotta tell you, I was surprised when I got out of the mouth of this little harbor how tumultuous the water was. It really coming from all different directions with the wind and the swell. Dave figured it out a little bit faster than I did. Maybe a little bit bigger board, maybe he's 
better foiler, maybe a combination of both. <laughs> but in time, we both figured it out and started just having a great time. So we're going down the shoreline and in a minute here you'll see that's who keep a beach over there. And Alan comes up, he goes, guys, we're not even a quarter of the way there. Let's start going downwind. As a windsurfer and a kiter, you know, downwinders for us are doing these reaches. We're having a lot of fun. And Alan's like, no, man, you got to point it down the wind. Slowly but surely, we started to figure it out. We have so much more to learn, but you know, hopefully you can tell from this footage, we sure are having a great time as we go down what I think it was a very famous uh, North Shore coast of the Maui coastline. downwinder it was a bit rocky at the start I'm pretty sure when we look at the footage we'll see me fall off I, I once we paddled out there it was like I'd never wing foiled before you know uh, it's <laughs> normal you know when you're in an unfamiliar environment and the waves are coming from different directions and the winds different and you don't have your landmarks it's easy to get you know disoriented but I knew as soon as you warmed up you'd be fine yeah once we got into the flow that it was unbelievable it's like it was everything that I that I hoped it could be in terms of doing it I, I just want to emphasize for people if they see this this doesn't mean run out and go off the shoreline of no. Maui or any other island and think you're going to be okay. Maybe you will be, maybe you're not. This is this, this is an advanced thing to do. The waves are unpredictable out there. Conditions are unpredictable. That was an eight mile downwinder and everything. A lot of things can change, you know, when you're out there and you have to be prepared. So please don't don't go out and do this lightly. Make sure you have somebody that, that might be able to do it for you. That said, <laughs> I gotta tell you, that's been a bucket list thing of mine. I didn't want to make too much of it before we went out there, but I've dreamed of doing that for so long. Awesome. We, when, I, when I got up and in terms of wake foiling and when learning how to foil to me, in the back of my mind was always doing something like that, this big downwinder. And, and I, I just got a small taste of it where 
you know, you let the wing go, but I got that taste, and the taste was I, sweet. I saw that, yeah. <laughs> it's thrilling, it never gets old. I, I can't imagine. So thank you so much for, for uh, you know, just for joining us on this adventure. And, uh, you know, just, a, just as a reminder, hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on, on Instagram. Come here to Maui and when you do to learn how to wing foil, whether you want to kite, talk to Alan, Alan Cadiz. You can find him C-A-D-I-Z. He has fantastic how-to instructional videos to help you get up and going in, in terms of wing foiling. He's a great guy and man, what a what an experience. Thank Mahalo, you. That thank was good you. Fun. Glad I could be part of it. Awesome. Uh, that's it. I guess this is where we say aloha. Aloha. We made it. <laughs> Sensei, Dave, he didn't make it. We had to leave no, him out there. No, he left already. We <laughs> were just, late. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Everybody made it back safely. He had to run back to the other side of the island. So It was a good day. It good was fun. a great day. Thank right you so on. much. All right. That was just, wow. When we got going, I, I saw your knees kind of shaking like that, you know, and I thought, I've been there. I've been there in the paddleboard race. You know, you, you stand up and the race starts and you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. And it takes a few minutes before you kind of get into the groove and yeah, and you yeah. did, you did. <laughs> All right. <laughs>